Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Hello! What's happening? <laughs> uh, I'm really excited because this is Gary Valenciano and Ben and Ben together. And I know this happened like last year at the beginning of the whole global really? stopping. Because they did it, uh, what is it, remotely? This is a cover they did remotely. Uh, but you guys were really adamant that we check it out. And I think, why not? Give it I a watch. Mean, exciting. Give it a watch. Exciting times. They've got a beautiful space. I feel like I count to a funk song. It's a beautiful space. Nice bombos. Nice camera work. I love her. She's always loving life. Like whenever you see them playing, she's always like really in the moment and I do adore that. Hard not to with this type of music. Mean sound. Mr. Guys! That's in his house, right? Yes. Let's talk about camera angles, though. Ooh. Oh, nice! Brilliant! For, for a second, I did think he was all of a sudden there. I said, oh, no, maybe they can do it. Remotely. No, nice. no, no, it, it is remote. I Simple love that editing, outfit. Simple editing, but fools my brain. Look at that outfit. That is a beautiful color coordination. Well, just, like, he could do a photo shoot there in that house. Well, it's in his house because great. the aesthetic suits really well. I, I love how it feels very homely too. Like it feels really like it, it, homely. It feels comfortable and it's nice. And I really like this so far. So I think something that Ben and Ben do seem to do really well, especially like if you, if you listen to that album Pebble House. I mean, the whole point of the thing was to do that, right? Like each room in the, in the house represents something, a person, a different feature, a different yeah. concept. Um, but they seem to do that really well, like that homely, so cozy feel. Oh, it's beautiful, though. Perfect for autumn. Indeed. You see the dance coming through? <laughs> I know, I love that guy. So the addition of that violin is always wonderful. It's wonderful. He's such a performer, I adore this guy. Doesn't it feel like uh, TV? Like uh, it does. one of those TV ads of like uh, Christmas. It does. It does feel <laughs> like a Christmas. But it, I think this was this was for the A Wit Awards. Thirty third A Wit Awards. So it's probably his TV. So it, it was probably aired on television. So I think maybe that's why it feels so uh, set in that Is environment. That feeling, yeah. Even though it's from their comfort of their houses, which are really like. It's a weird concept to to have a TV setting concept from from home. from the from home, uh, probably filmed and recorded by themselves, which is probably, yeah. which is it's just cool because I mean not that I think it would be an issue for Gary because oh. like his son is fucking manages like uh, concerts and videos and stuff. No, like that's that, so. definitely not an issue for yeah. neither of them though. And Ben and Ben are known to be a pretty good team and have a good team together. <laughs> but I was going to say, I wonder, I do wonder how the situation is at the moment there because are they still having to do remote work and stuff like that? Yeah, I think so. I think still. at the moment, yeah, I think at the moment you we, still have to... We spoke to Sam, right, like, I don't know, like a month ago? Uh, yeah, a few weeks ago, yeah. Only a few weeks? Yeah, I don't think it's been that long. Wow, it's fucking uh, the timing on the internet feels like It feels fast, so weird, But yeah. then in real life, it's actually so slow. Um... um but yeah, yeah, no, I think I was talking to who I don't remember, but we were speaking about the whole like still a lot. yeah, there's there's a lot of regulations still holding in place, and um, if you want to do events and stuff like the oh, the no. health regulations are super super strict. Well, like SB19 still had to do yeah, and a fourth harmony. Yeah, oh my god, I can't wait to see any videos and footage of that. Oof, because 
Oh my god, they, they had a whole orchestra on stage as well, so that helps. Yeah, I've had a like chat a... with a few people involved, and they were all very pleased with how it came out. Mm. I've seen little snippets and th- here and there that they've sent me, so that it's good stuff. Exciting cool. stuff. So this is a mashup of two songs. Obviously bizarre and difficult arrangement, but I, it's so interesting every time I watch Men and Men, like the levels there is to a band, you know, and that that amount of unison. The layers, yeah. There's so many layers, and how they exalt each layer. They're so the thick, song. Dude. yeah. All of them, like because everyone is obviously they're, they're individualistic, very good, all of them. Um, but when they come together, it becomes like such a such a yeah thick layer of. Of, of, of music is so good and it, it feels like there's no emptiness everything is filled and but not it's not overwhelming it's actually very pleasant they're a good world-class band they, they really are and I, I love this arrangement because you're getting two completely different uh, styles of music kind of come together and transition into merge into this brand new sound right and you're getting both of their individualistic uh, uh, takes and influences in one song and it is so refreshing though because when you think you're getting accustomed to the piece you get a brand new surprise that is very harmonious oh my god the ceiling is falling <laughs> so, yeah, rain. yeah it's a Whoa. full-on god um so yeah but you have this uh, this this wonderful harmonious moment where uh, both of these ideas and concepts kind of like collide and come together and uh, from a conceptual perspective, you wouldn't think that that's the case, right? Uh, I mean, they're they're so different yep, uh, yep. in both their artistic perspectives and uh, coming together to do something so beautiful and so simplistic, yet maintain layers and dynamics throughout the whole composition. It's really beautiful. I, I, it's really nice. What's the vibe, may I say? It's like raining outside, it's autumn here, and listening to Men and Men and Gary. That's the vibe. It is indeed, <laughs> it is. I mean, it is autumn. It is here. <laughs> Gary, oh goodness gracious, that was brilliant. Nice. It's 
so cool to see a band still now, like have a conguero, like a you know a conga player. Oh, what have a, a minor percussionist and yeah, a, and a drummer. Like that's such a Latin approach to music. It is, and it's so refreshing to see it because you know they're, they're at this level. I think Ben and Ben, you know, like they're so popular in many different parts of the world. So it's really nice to see them bring us a band that those type of concepts back. Yeah, there's so many flav- flavors that you can really. Um, exploit yeah. in in uh, in in a, in a different genre of music because what happens is that we get this type of band settings in South America that are very common uh but obviously playing a completely different genre oh, and yeah, not this. you don't often it's very rare to see a band with this type of setting playing folk alternative music very very like bizarre and it's actually so refreshing yeah. to watch those elements being included into into other jo- other genres that are so uh, i wouldn't be so welcome into such sounds I yeah mean, i think so also, nice i think also like if you do you know in tours and stuff like that uh, you do get you know a minor percussionist and a drummer maybe you wouldn't get two but you get one at least uh but not as a, you wouldn't have that as a concept of a band no and they wouldn't be given that much screen time or they wouldn't be given that much time even to record on or to you know to be part of records and stuff so it's certainly very nice i, I know i know they're all like uh that that's how they started and that's how they've stayed so that's awesome to see certainly a world-class band let us know perhaps what else we should check out next and um yeah what did you think of it that was awesome <laughs>